The walk stirred his mind. Ideas began to brew. A river of ink would flow late in the day, which was common. The occurrence of inspiration flush along the grain of his time with Bella, the sister of burnout, Miss Inspiration. She a fine and proud woman who stomped her heels and turned parquet to sawdust, crossed her arms in determination, a sucker for young men who had not lost the passion. She approached them and enticed them with her seasons of flirtation, leaves the color of her blood, lemonade sweet as her smile. Crystals of snow hung around her sculpted neck, spring love born in her eyes. Will fell madly for her. Ink stained his fingers, bled out his eyes and down his face. Dark blues and blacks streaking his fallen hair, smudging his elbows. But the pristine, chapel white, summer wedding train thin paper was hit with bull cuts and scratches without any fog or dispersion. There could be no other diversion. He cut in on her dances and showed no remorse for the other girls who tried to catch his eye and whose flowers he picked up and returned when they fell from their hair to the scuff floor. No, he went after the one who need not force him to love her, the force he must reckon with, the force he need not essay to capture and claim and love and call his own. And he did. When Bella was in his arms, he felt important and unconquerable, and, of course, madly in love. Afterwards, while she slept, the river of ink coursed through his veins to his fingertips and tumbled out onto the sea of paper, each sheet tossed in flight, released by his fingers, sent white into the night with his brand sunk in, wet in the air. He wrote past the point of exhaustion until the flow waned and left the riverbed slick and black, resin melted in the sun. Then came burnout, walking in on them. What have we here, tired and hungry, sleepless gypsies? Go straight to hell, he said.